Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. We're not going to complain about a little rain after that. Oh, no, that. not after that. Definitely video. not, no. Our neighbors to the west have just had multiple mm -hmm. days of yeah. severe weather, yeah. so my heart definitely goes out to them. Yeah. Mine now, too. Our prayers. Oh, yes. Now, we'll have our chance at some stronger storms across the area, but nothing like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into it, because i got a lot to tell you about. Here's a look outside right now on our Way 31 SkyCam Network. Powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. A cloudy site across much of the Tennessee Valley, but no rain falling, at least for now. Our rain chances, they'll go up as we head into the later afternoon hours today. A look at your current temperatures, though. Most of us already in those lower 80s. 82 degrees right now in Huntsville. It's 81 in Gunnersville. Still 79 degrees over in Fort Payne. 83 degrees in Decatur. 84 right now in Muscle Shoals. And the Trash Pandas are back at home tonight. The first pitch at 635. If you're headed out to that game, you may want to take your umbrella with you just in case, but only about a 30% chance of a shower or two by 6 p.m. this evening. Right now on 31 Triple Doppler, we're still quiet across the Tennessee Valley, but just off to our west in Mississippi, the rain is starting to make its way towards us. And here's a wider view showing you what we're looking at. This is round number one for us. We'll see multiple rounds over the next couple of days. So something to keep an eye on as we head towards Memorial Day weekend. Now it won't be a washout at any point during the weekend, but Saturday, Sunday, and then again on Monday, we'll bring a chance of some showers and thunderstorms across the Tennessee Valley. Sunday, our warmest day, so make sure you're staying hydrated as well. So let's go ahead and walk through future radar together. Now by 3 p.m. we could see a couple of pop up showers here or there across the Tennessee Valley and then later on in the evening is when we'll see our chance for some stronger storms if they can get going. This is 7 p.m. Some rain falling in the shoals and then as we head into the overnight hours tonight, we'll get a small break in the action. But by the time you're waking up, headed out the door to work tomorrow morning, we'll see more rain across the Tennessee Valley. That will stick with us through the morning hours and by the afternoon, the models are drying us out. So that could be some good news for any plans that you may have on your Friday evening. So let's get into the weekend. This is Saturday 6 a.m. starting off with some cloud cover across the Tennessee Valley. But now the models are hinting at we will stay dry through Saturday afternoon. So hopefully this trend continues because that would be some great news, especially for the Alabama Jubilee indicator. Now your Sunday though, that will be a different story and I'll get to that in just a minute. But over the next three days, if we see any storms develop in the afternoon, we are under that level one risk of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms. The risk though will be for some gusty winds and large hail. Tornadoes are not expected in any of the storms that we see over the next few days. So let's go ahead and get back to Sunday. This is 12 p.m. Scattered showers possible across the area by that time. But I'm going to be watching for later in the evening. We'll see a round of showers and thunderstorms move through during the overnight hours into your Monday morning. That's when we could see some stronger storms once again across the Tennessee Valley. And this is your day four outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. And they have North Alabama under that possible category for strong to severe thunderstorms. Now by tomorrow, we'll get a better idea of what this looks like and what our risk will be. So keep checking back and check in this evening with Chief Meteorologist Jeff, Jeff Castle. He'll have the latest for you. Your 10 day forecast breaks down like this. Now after Monday, that cold front that we're watching will finally move through the area. Not only will it cool us off by Tuesday, but it'll take those rain chances with it as well, at least for a few days. So we'll definitely be needing a break by the end of the weekend and Monday because plenty of rain chances until then. Oh, yes, it will be. Somehow, as I look at that rain at the top of your 10 day and those temperatures at the bottom, that looks like a combination of steamy when mm -hmm. it gets together. It is. It is. Yeah, we're getting to that point yeah. in the year where it's not very fun to be outside after. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. No doubt. All right. Thank you, Amber.